Okay everybody, thanks for coming to Hand Make My Day. And this is the Funky Bunny Project. So Andrea gave me this canvas to do something with. She wanted me to frame it. And this is what I came up with. It's a little bit more of, I guess, an industrial look. Um, it's not done yet, but I'm going to kind of walk you through the process here. Um, instead of going out and finding a frame for it or uh, building a frame for it, I kind of had an idea for something else with al using aluminum. But then I ran across some of these things in Home Depot and thought they would be excellent for this project. And I'll show you what they are here. Um, I got these steel eyelets, which I painted pink with Krylon, like that. And that's actually just one coat. It works really well. I was actually concerned about the chain scratching the eyelets and getting the paint off of it. But um, it seems to work okay. And then I took the eyelets and I screwed them, hand screwed them, I should say, so I didn't have to use any tools, uh, run the risk of either A, splitting the wood on the back of this thing, or, or composite junk, I don't even know what that's called. Um, and uh, uh, wanted to avoid scratching the paint off the eyelets, so everything's hand screwed in. It was super easy. Once they, get, once they actually bite into the canvas, they kind of guide themselves into the wood. Then I have this chain right here. And this is going to act as my frame. Now I've got some kind of fun ideas for this. I'm going to go ahead and run the chain through. This doesn't take too long. And I'm not sure how the hanging is going to work yet, but I've got this idea to make the hanging part of the chain kind of fun. And then I'm just going to guide that around. Be a little bit cautious as to not scratch my eyelids up, so I'm going to take my time with it. I'm in no rush. Kind of move that in the camera's perspective there. So you can see what I'm up to. That should guide around real nice and easily because everything has rounded corners and edges, so it guides through super easy. And that makes it pretty easy to fix or tweak. Um, there's probably a million other ways you could do this, but this is my way. I'm just going to run this through. I like the noise. I don't know why. It just kind of sounds like this is heavy duty stuff right here. That's what I like doing. I like taking simple projects and fun crafty projects and making them look a little bit more industrial and, and high strength like you could really put them to the test. How you would put this to the test is, well, is beyond me, but uh, that's beside the point. It looks cool. So maybe it has kind of an industrial look. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pull that all the way through just because it's easier than approaching from both sides. And then I'm going to come down this way. And guide that through there like so, like that through there like so. And then I haven't cut the chain yet, and I've got some ways I'm going to cut that. It's going to make it super easy. So that's where we're at so far. And once you pull it tight, it kind of makes a really neat looking frame. As you can see that there. Um, plus it's pretty, you could hang things off this, like charms or something, or even additional pictures. Hey, that's an idea. You can make more of these frames, string them together. Uh, you can actually string a whole bunch of canvases together on one piece of frame. So that'd be kind of cool. Alright, so I'm going to actually do the hanging part now because I have an idea for it. And I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I've taken one of those pink eye hooks, an extra one that I that I painted with a Krylon, and I'm going to use my Dremel here, which is currently running, um, and I'm going to cut this guy off, and I'm going to use that as my actual hang point on my frame. So I'm just going to take my time here. Um, I'm using my wife's sunglasses. She's probably going to kill me, but I couldn't find any other, and I wouldn't do this without eye protection because I've had these things come apart in the past. These little carbon blades are pretty sensitive, and if you hit them just wrong, they will just come apart. The nice thing is they cut really fast, and you can just about cut anything with them.
Okay, so if you look here, I cut it just enough to where it wouldn't actually fall off and disappear into the uh, stuff behind the, the, the vice grip. And just to finish off that last little bit, all I gotta do is bend it a little bit. And very careful. Done. A little bit left over, but that's okay. That's not gonna hurt anybody. And there we go, we have our connector ring, which matches the rest of our stuff down here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and separated the rest of the chain that was on there. As you can see, we had quite a bit extra by just basically taking the links and spreading them apart a little bit. That actually worked really well, and it didn't end up scratching the chain because I did it all by hand. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one right here. And I'm just going to grab this with the needle nose and push it down a little bit. And that's going to give me a gap there that I can work with. And then I'm going to grab my other one and do the same thing. And that one hurts a little bit more, but I can do it here. All right. Then grab my new little device here. We'll clamp that down. Actually, I, I suspect you probably wouldn't even have to clamp this, but I'm going to. Um, what I don't want to do is scratch the, the ring, so I'm going to be very careful. All right, that worked. Look at that. Beautiful. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. That one's not opened up enough, so just another little tweak there. I love these little pliers. I buy them in the like in the craftsman kits here. And they come in a really nice little case. And I hide them from Andrea because she loses my tools. Don't tell her I said that, though I suspect she'll find out because she's gonna see this online, but yeah, I hide them. I admit it. And guess what, ladies? Your husband does the same thing. All right, there we go. And what I would probably do is turn that like that so you can't see it when it's hanging, the bottom part. And suddenly you have this totally awesome frame. Uh, let's hang it up and see how it looks. See if we can get a just an overall view here. I can't get the camera back far enough. But I'm going to hang it and we'll check it out. All right. So there it is hanging up, the funky bunny frame. You can see it's kind of fun, it's different. And the nice thing about this setup is you can configure it however you want to make it work for you. You can change the position of the pins. Um, you can make them different colors. You can do something different. I actually have a couple ideas that would be different for that. But um, that's for a later date. I'll back it up here so you can see a little bit. There it is. Funky Bunny Frame. Check out more at handmakemyday.com. This is Cliff Curry.